I've been playing Rogue recently and it was actually really, really good. The first time I actually got into it was actually not too bad, but um, uh, yeah, I'm just put, using some footage for this story that I'm going to be doing right now. And this story is what you guys actually suggested a few months ago, which I chose to do now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, here we go. This is the story of how I got caught with my girlfriend. And um, let's just say it was not so good. Now, keep in mind, um, I was at a young age at this point. So getting caught with the girl, girl in bed probably would probably raise some red flags to certain parents. Same with my mother. <laughs> um, so here's the story and here's how it goes. So I was um, just casually hanging out with her. Uh, we were in bed uh, just watching a movie. Keep in mind, both of us had underwear on. We took our clothes off and just went into bed. And um, let's just say... Uh, on the corner of my eye, I see someone watching us. Just a little bit. They closed the door back. So I didn't mind it at all. I thought it was just me. I thought I was um, looking at something. And then it happened. My sister and my brother barge into my fucking door. Me and her were fucking startled. And let's just say something here, motherfucker. I got forced to get out of bed for two different reasons. Number one, they caught us and decided to tell my mother. Now, for those of you who don't know my mother, she is really sweet now. But when I was young, she had a lot, well, not a lot of tolerance issues because she couldn't actually deal with it. The issue was, was the fact that if she found out one of her kids was having sex with a sex, let's just say it would have actually went left field. So, good thing none of us, both of us didn't even do that because we both agreed not to actually have sex. Um, so we did more dry humping. Not the, well, not the same one, right? I, I see your point. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway. So, we went back into uh, a few things. Uh, knowing for a fact that this was going to be an issue. Uh, number one. I didn't know that this was going, I didn't know the door was open. <laughs> it took me a bit to realize that the door was open. As a kid, I was not that sneaky, unfortunately, because I had everybody watching me every goddamn second. So, yeah, it was annoying. Uh, second, it took me a long time to realize that my sister and my brother were watching both of us. And I had no clue. Literally, my brain was like, huh, no one's going to find out about this. I'm just chilling with my girl. Nothing too serious, right? But knowing for a fact that I have nothing but my underwear on, this was going to get out of hand. Knowing for a fact. So, a few minutes later it goes by, right? My brother and my sister walked back into the room. They told me to go into my mom's room. So, I was getting walked in like I was a prisoner. And let's just say, that did not go so well. So to sum up the issue, what happened, basically, mom was concerned at the fact that I was actually in the bedroom with her with my underwear on, which she should. Now, here's the other thing. She was embarrassing me. Not only did she, did she not, nah, not only did she embarrass me, but she literally had the nerve to tell me and let me know, remind me that at the time I had a small.
Thank you for saying something like that. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I really appreciate the fact that you even had to mention that. Thank you! God fucking Jesus. Why do I even waste my time? Anyway. Let's just move on, okay? So, I went back on the topic before, and I explained to her how we get into a relationship. And two things. Number one, she was fine with it, as long as I didn't have sex with her. And then she asked a big question. Did I have sex with her? And it turns out, no! I barely even got close. A lot of people are going to get freaking... And I know people are going to get upset with me when I say this. What? The, first of all, <laughs> I'm fucking... Fucking. I was literally like eight. She was seven at the time. That's number one. Number two, we were literally like almost dating for like two years. Things kind of got out of hand. Three, I'm not getting out there with a fuck without a goddamn condom. And I was too young to even uh, fucking put one on. Even if it went straight through, it wasn't going to reach the damn pipe. So, let's just be serious here. Let's just be serious here. And all common sense of that. What makes you think I'm going to sit there and literally say to my mom that I had sex with her when in reality I did not? How the fuck do I do that? So we had a good laugh and pretty much all she just wanted to make sure is that I did not have sex with her at all. The relationship part, she was fine with it. My main concern was telling my father. And let me tell you something. I have not told my father about this. For over a decade. <laughs> I never told him the fact that I was actually dating somebody at a young age. The reason I didn't tell him was of two different reasons. Number one. He would have fucking killed me if I actually dated somebody. And maybe or maybe not. Gay. Well actually no. Had sex with a girl that was fucking. That wasn't. Not, first of all. That wasn't even getting close. To the fucking rim of the goddamn tip. And let's be serious here. If I was really willing to do that shit, you think I would I would have said now that I actually lost my virginity? And would have said that I would have lost it in a young age? I would have said that shit straight bold to you. And my father would have beaten my ass by now. He would have beat my ass. You think I'm going to sit there and... And take that shit? Hell no. I already took too many beatings as a kid. I was not going to get another. So, I never told my father for over a decade until this year. <laughs> I never told him that story until this year. So, yeah. Pretty much, he was well aware of what happened. I, <laughs> let's just say he wasn't angry now. He wasn't angry now as he used to be now, but I mean, used to be back then. I didn't want to explain it to people because it would have actually gotten worse from there. And in case you guys uh, want to know about that whole issue between me and her, it's complicated. Um, she... Hmm, I don't want to explain it, but to sum it up, she just pretty much broke up with me for no reason. I mean, granted, we almost got caught the second time, and it was by her father. And the way that almost happened is that basically this bitch kept trying to get me a hickey. I'm sitting here like, girl, we are in your father's car. Unless you want to fucking want, unless you want me dead, I ain't doing shit like that. In the car. Oh, and keep in mind, I meant to say this to you. We are literally right in the back where they could literally see us both. Literally on the second seat. Uh, because basically, this man had a van. And in that specific van, it, you know those two, two seats that is almost close to the driver's seat and the passenger seat, right? That is literally where we are. Both of us are literally on that part of the seat. Now, keep in mind, I tried to just at least, like, give consent without him looking. Because I know he was talk talking to my mother. 
the issue, because he was also focusing on driving, and I, so I decided to do one thing that I, I, I can't believe I fucking did it. I kissed her, right? And you know what happened? I was happy for one minute until I looked at the rear mirror. This man was watching me. So I sat there, knowing for a fact that this man was watching me. And you know what happens next? I got worried. I got very much worried. <laughs> Because he gave me the death stare. And let me tell you, it reminds me too much about Luigi. <sighs> if it would have gotten any worse from there, I would have been pissed. But unfortunately, it did not get that far. I was more scared to release my own common sense upon these dudes. It would have gotten worse if that would have been the case. So, to sum up what happened that part of how I got caught. Basically, um, he separated us for a long time. <laughs> we didn't get to see each other over a while. And the messed up part is, and it kills me to say this, I would love to tell you guys right now of what happened. But I'm going to have to explain that in another video. Actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to say that never because that is probably privacy to both of them. Both her and her dad. And I'm not saying a word about it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that ended off our relationship from there. Uh, and then a few months later, I went to go and, go and talk to her. We connected still, but... Then after that, she kind of just bailed on me. And you know what happens after that? It's been over a decade later. This came... I've seen her around to the... The last time I saw her was back around... 2011. I didn't see her until 2017. <laughs> so the summer of 2011, I didn't see her the entire time. So I come back around, so I didn't see her then. And then she got older. I was currently, I think, back in the summer of 2017, because I was only, I was still 16. You are kidding me. Oh, no, no, no. Summer of 8, 2018. My bad. Summer of 2018. I remember this. Yeah, summer of 2018. I went straight back, and it was a um, barbecue. It was a barbecue uh, that my sister was holding. And um, when my sister told me that they were here, I got very worried for two different reasons. Number one, I thought she was going to get hella fucking mad after what happened. Because, first of all, I don't think she noticed, but... As soon as she started speaking Spanish and shit, because I thought she was just angry at me. We haven't talked since then. And it kind of just ended our relationship there because of the fact. I didn't... Because a lot of people don't know this. And I, why did I say that she broke up with me? I mean, clear, in reality, we just broke up because of distance. We couldn't even see each other. Duh. But uh, to sum it up. Basically, I brought it up to her. Um, after, what, six years later? And the second I bring it back up to her, right? I bring it back up to her, and, dude, her memory is fucking wiped. Her sister's memory is fucking wiped. We haven't heard, heard from each other for about, like, what? Seven years? Subpar seven years. And somehow we haven't seen each other for that long. And th then somehow you managed to pull that off? Huh. So I had to explain everything that happened. And let's just say she was not happy about it. Now, she forgot everything. So you forgot the image of me. And somehow you didn't notice this? You might want to rethink what you was doing that time. <laughs> and then her sister had a nerve to say, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure it will probably happen considering the fact that we are we are completely forgetful and he might actually remember what happened yeah after that she literally went she haven't even talked to me since then <laughs> yeah so she kind of moved on to bigger and better things and I'm just moving on too so it's all right man it's all right but anyway um I'm going to have to end it here, guys. This this <laughs> this was awesome. I'm not going to lie, man. This was this was crazy. Um I really hope you guys enjoyed that story. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been that, guys. Later. <laughs>